Melissa, pack your bags. I already packed my bag. So you already knew we were going someplace. Yes. Are you excited where we're about to go? Yes, although I'm a little nervous about the drive. Are you gonna tell them where we're going? We didn't discuss this. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. This is what happens when Chris brings out the camera. It doesn't say, hey honey, I think we should share point A, B, C. It just says, I'm bringing out the camera. So it kind of seems like you want to file some complaints. Would it help? We're Chris and Melissa, midlifers on the move. We're heading to Whistler, BC, host of the 2010 Winter Olympics and possibly the best winter resort town ever. I'm super excited about going to Whistler. However, I do not like going through mountains. I've talked with my stylist. She's like my resource in case anybody hasn't noticed. And she said that it's really a nice drive. It's nothing to worry about. There's like one spot when it's dark out that's a little bit unnerving. And so I'm hoping that we have a really smooth ride, but I am a little nervous. How about you? I am not nervous one bit, honey. Not one bit. Oh, that's good. You know why? Because I have a steering wheel. I have brakes. <laughs> I have gas. I have protective things around me. I have a seatbelt. And I also don't want to crash, so I'm going to work really hard not to. The wife alert warning system may be in hyperdrive today. We'll see. Hey, honey. Yeah? Is there any way to disable the wife alert warning system? Well... If the wife decides to cover her eyes because she's given up all hope, it's automatically disabled. That's like the best feature then, because it protects us, because it creates the force field. <laughs> so just do that all the time now, okay? Sorry, husband. Sea to Sky Highway connects the seawalls of Vancouver to the sky-high mountain views of Whistler and beyond. It's known as one of Canada's best road trips. It's official, we are on the Sea to Sky Highway. Okay, honey, beautiful sights, everything's amazing. I think the strongest feeling I have at this moment is hunger. I don't know if I got it. Okay, I've determined we'll go to Squamish to eat. Okay. Squamish. still in search of food though. It's gonna be past one before Chris eats. Okay, we, you know what, that's, that's it. We're not talking more. Let's go. <laughs> do you believe that a heart that loves to block me is always young? If they put it on the side of a truck, I do believe it, yes. Are you, are you excited to be at a Greek food truck? I am in the, oh, the smell. It smells pretty amazing. I might break into the truck. The pita wrap? Out of my way. Mm. Out of my way. <laughs> Job, huh? They feel heavy? They, they feel substantial. There it is. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay, lunch eaten. We can now resume the drive to our destination. Of Whistler. Whistler. <laughs> We are now 
now parked beneath the Hilton and we are at our destination in Whistler, I am super psyched to report that the mountain driving was not scary. And my husband did a good job driving. It wasn't scary because it wasn't scary. That's why it wasn't scary. It was just... Oh my gosh, it was nothing like Rainier or, oh, oh yeah. or um, Mount St. Helens. That was so scary. Although it was one of the most beautiful drives. <gasps> Oh, the Sea to Sky Highway is no joke. It's gorgeous. Do it. I feel like you're leaning in for a kiss. So I, I, was, thought I, I was. I thought I'd just... Mm. Okay, we gotta go. Mm. We're now in our fancy hotel room. We were in a fancier room, but um, it didn't work out because there's a fireplace in it. Fireplaces are a no-go in our lives. I do have to say, I'm kind of bummed that we weren't able to stay in the room that we had first, the fancy it one. It was amazing. It was amazing. But the, the reason why it was so amazing is that it had a bidet. What? A bidet. And I've never used one. And I was going to use one and document it for everybody. <laughs> Are you completely kidding uh, or only no, partially? I'm serious. They had a bidet. Oh, I didn't know that was a good We could thing. have been like super clean in ourselves. But I'd rather have you breathing, so. Well, I'm glad that's important to you. Yeah. Bidet, my honey breathing. It's a pretty simple. Yeah, it's super fun being allergic to the residue from wood burning. You're getting a little personal there. That's a joke. That was a joke. Oh, you're talking like, about like, having your see, butt wet. See, get it, get it. Let's go. We're going to try to find a place called the Mallard Lounge. We didn't ski, but we did enjoy the Apre Ski food and drink options Whistler has to offer. And we are in a place where that has to be a sign. We thought about going to that vodka ice room, but if it's gonna be inside and close, we'll have to do it next time. Yeah. Melissa's love of science is really starting to pay off. <laughs> she has actually been navigating us through these different villages in Whistler. It's not something that, that comes by me naturally at all. Good no. job on your science, Whistler Villages. It's like everywhere you look, there's an information. <laughs> uh, what do they call them? What's it called when it's uh, information? What's the word? I don't know. Come on, you're the lady who knows the words. Kiosk! Oh, there you go. Everywhere you look, there's an information it's kiosk. A kiosk. Well, it's a kiosk. It's a okay, from yeah, the woman who wouldn't come up with the words, because it's she... not the right word. Okay, sorry. Pretty sure this is an information kiosk. I'm just I'm pretty sure. Because, you know, information kiosk is something that. Well, it does have, those have an eye on them. The other things we looked at did not. They all had an eye on them. Did they? Yes. <laughs> I want an apology. <laughs> You're not getting one. God damn it. Six hours later. That's a kiosk. That is? Yes. There's somebody operating it. Okay, so I looked at the different types of at Prey ski places where we could go to dine and drink. And this was on the fancy list. Melissa has class. She's very <laughs> fancy. What do you got there, Melissa? Empress 1908 gin, garnished with blackberries and ginger and something else. And adding in the sparkling tonic. It looks like dessert. Ooh, and it has juniper berries in it too. Which I've never had a gin and tonic with juniper berries in it. What do you think? Mmm, quite tasty. You, Mark. 
Okay, we had a beautiful dinner. It was delicious. So, I don't know if it was beautiful. It was delicious, yes. You're right, delicious. Yes, well, the atmosphere was beautiful. We were at the Mallard Lounge. Yes. And we had a super helpful server who yes. gave us great advice about, now we know what we're doing on Sunday. Yeah, in fact, she's gonna help this channel. <laughs> She has given us some ideas of things that we have to try. Yes, and some of it involves me getting over my fear of bears. Yes, she <laughs> gave us some great information on bears. I'm no longer scared of bears. I never was. Oh, I'm still scared. Fear you're, is healthy. You're such a wussy wuss. Are you spooked out? No, I'm with my honey. Like, you think I can defend you against bears and gangs of... Whistler? The <laughs> gangs of Whistler. The <laughs> gangs of Whistler. Okay. Ooh, this is so pretty. We do these videos, we see these amazing sights, but sometimes I think we really should just show like like a parking lot. Here's a parking lot. It's just see, it's not all glory. It's sometimes it's just a parking lot. People don't want to see parking lots because they want to see food. Okay, so like the fish tacos I had. Weren't those your favorite? They were good. Oh, and my burger at Milestones, loved it. Mm, and then the sandwiches at the Corner Deli. Oh, you had the banh mi. Oh, and you had the chicken club, right? Turkey club. Ah, we're, we're close. close. <laughs> oh, donuts. Of course, we had to end with donuts. <laughs> yes. And also a cinnamon roll. Oh, Portobello's had the best sweets. That was it. We've had an amazing day. It's been fabulous. In Whistler. Now we just got up here. Boom. We did the Sea to Sky Highway, which was phenomenal. And then Whistler is this cool ski town. All these little shops and restaurants and all these nice informational kiosks. <laughs> to help us know where to go. A lot of patio dining with heaters. It was nice. We are pretty impressed. Yes. So, next episode, we have some big plans. Oh, yes. What we're going to do is going to change the world. <laughs> what? It's not? Well, a butterfly changes the world the way it flaps its wings. So, you know, I guess it's world changing. If you are a big believer in the butterfly effect. She always brings it super nerdy, doesn't she? Super <laughs> How is nerdy. that nerdy? Just the butterfly. You have to have some education about what that means. So, thank you for watching subscribe if you want to see us do more of this crazy stuff like ring that bell thanks for watching see ya <laughs> did you just i didn't want... that was Aussie. a double thumbs up fun use your testing complete for today although we although we do have a dessert yeah. and a nightcap coming so <laughs> we're, we're not quite done still doing a little bit more testing dedicated okay let's it's make out let's make out oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>